Good evening. It's five o'clock on this Tuesday night. Thanks so much for joining us. We do kick off the show tonight with a search through the rubble of that condo collapse in South Florida. Yeah, it's now being threatened by the wind and rain of Tropical Storm Elsa as that storm makes its way to Florida. Searchers just found another four bodies, so that brings the total today to eight found. All of this nearly two weeks after the first part of that condo came down and that unfortunately increases the death toll to 36. Right now there are still 109 people they haven't found and that's why some of Indiana's own first responders are in Florida right now doing the hard work of digging through the rubble. Indiana Task Force One arrived late last week. And they told our Dustin Grove it's one of the most difficult deployments they have ever worked. Digging through the massive pile of rubble, the rescue workers here include 80 men and women from Indiana, describing it as hot, exhausting, and slow. I've been a fireman for 32 years. I've been on this team for 24. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just get to these real tough ones that are hard to kind of, uh, you know, get through. Indianapolis firefighter Jay Settergren is leading the Hoosier team, working 12-hour shifts, climbing, digging, and hoping for any sign of life. If you talk to anybody out here, we always hold out hope. But as time goes by, you, the, the, the percentages of finding a live uh, victim uh, goes down. And so we all know that, and that's why we're racing against the clock. Racing for the families of the missing, many who are there 12 days later waiting for word. You feel awful for them. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, it's one of those things where it tears at your heart because you know that they don't have answers on their loved one. And, and it puts, I think, in a way, pressure on us to feel like we, we need to try to do that for them. And they'll keep doing it, he says, until the job is done. It looks like ants on the, on the building, but it's very orchestrated and very focused at what we're doing, and that's why we're successful. So we'll continue to do that until we bring the last person home for the families. Dustin Grove, 13 News.